from the moment that I saw that pin of light. It was just a small light which grew and grew and grew the closer I got. Although I knew that I was still surrounded by all that darkness, the galaxy which was below me, when I saw the light, my focus was completely on that light because I knew right then and there that there was my help. You know, a lot of times when I think about God's creation and what the Lord has shown me, when I think about that galaxy today, all that fear that I had when I realized I was in the stars, suspended in the sky, moving up into the galaxy, fear had just completely took over me. I knew that I was an alien because what I mean by that is no human you know the earth is the where the population of humanity lies and rightly so in the galaxy, you have your planets. You have Jupiter and Neptune, Mars, Pluto, Mercury, Earth. You have Saturn. They're in their rightful place. But in that moment of my presence, again, I, I, I felt like I just didn't belong. And so it takes me to the light when I saw that pin of light. And even in that moment when I was in the galaxy, there was a time that I was just kind of wondering, does anyone know I'm here? No one knows I'm here. I felt like no one knew I was there. Once I went into that light, once that love grabbed a hold of me, once that warmth, once Jesus made himself known and all that fear had left me and the joyous presence that was within me and just that knowing of having all knowledge and some sort of a celebration with so many others. I could feel the presence. I could still feel the presence of so many others. Could have been some of you. When I came out of those, that light. And I ended up in the clouds. And everything had vanished. What the Lord told me I would not remember. And after being shown and given a tour of the heaven. Wondering why the Lord closed that sky like that. The next thing you know. I began to see. What could have been millions or maybe even billions of very small, sparkling, pearly looking, brilliant. What I thought at first, I said, I'm back in the stars. The sky had then turned to some sort of a baby bluish look. And when I saw those little pearly beings that I thought was a star, I was back in the stars again. The Lord began to take me higher. I began to go higher in the sky. 
And I noticed those little tiny specks of pearly beings, shiny beings were moving around. And the higher I got, God placed my eyes and caused me to focus on one, just one of those beings as all the others were still moving around. And the closer I got, I noticed that a, this being had kicked off. It kicked off and began to fly. And that's when I yelled at the Lord again. I yelled at him. I said, that's not a star. He knew what I was thinking all the while. I'm going to stop right here and say this for a moment. You know, a lot of times, you know, God loves his children. And I believe in my heart that we make him laugh. Because I yelled at the Lord. This was the second time I yelled at the Lord. And I told him, I said, that's not a star. I said, that's an angel. This particular angel was an archangel. He was kneeled down when I first saw him. You know how uh, a group of people are about to race. You're at a race and they're all kneeled down. And then you have the person that's doing the count and he's counting backwards. He goes on your march. Get set. And they kick off. Before they start running, they kick off. Well, this was what this particular archangel did. He kicked off and he gave one good flap with his wings. One good one. And he was moving. And that's when I yelled at the Lord. And when I looked around, all of these beings were flying around. It was so many of them. Their wings were humongous. They were humongous beings. They were everywhere. They were beautiful. I can see their angelic bodies. You couldn't tell if they were male or female. You couldn't tell. They, they didn't have figures like that, but you knew they were bodies. And now I'm pretty stunned. And I'm looking around. And I can't get my eyes off of them. I had forgot about yelling at the Lord about closing the sky. And already I can't get my eyes off of these angels. They were beautiful. It was so quiet in there. And they were all flying around the heaven I had just seen. As if they were watching over this particular part of the heaven. They were like guiding. And I'm just looking and, and the Lord is just checking me out because I'm stunned. I'm looking. And I'm thanking God. And then I began to question the Lord for the very first time about my very own being. Because I was so surrounded by so many angels, for a moment I thought I must be one of them. What am I? Who am I? What am I then? I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, do I have wings? And I began to move around as if I was trying to feel in the back of me to see if I had any kind of wings. And for the very first time, that's when I noticed I have no body. I had no body at all. And for the very first time, the Lord asked me a question. Do you remember before you went to bed last night, you asked to die? God asked me, did I remember? Because the night before I had asked to die, I had actually asked God to kill me. I didn't want to wake up the next morning. And I had told God that boldly. He asked me, do you remember you asked to die? 
And when he said that, I was still kind of looking at the angels, but now I'm listening to what he's saying. And for a moment, I tried to think. And I couldn't really, I couldn't think. I had no real thought. I had no earthly thought, and I knew nothing he was talking about. And I did not remember asking him the night before about dying. I didn't know what he was talking about. I had no memory of it. And I tried to think. I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't remember my children. I couldn't remember earth. I couldn't remember anything about me, my own being. But I knew it was me, but I just didn't know who I was in that moment. I was dead. And for the very first time, I thought in my mind, my dead mind, like I, I'm dead, I'm dead. And the, that's when the Lord let me know right then that I had died. He let me know, Allison, you died. I remember trying to look behind me and look down after I had been struck that earlier not to look behind me. And it's as if I could see a black hole all the way down. And I don't know what all the Lord said to me. But I began to just gaze up at the, at the angels now. Now I'm thinking while I'm looking at them, I'm dead. I died. And in a twinkling of an eye, I was back in my body. I'll never forget it. I was still in the same position, in a fetal position, as I was at 7.30 p.m. the night before. And the very first thing I did that the Lord allowed me to do, I raised up my head and I looked over there on my dresser and those red digital numbers read exactly 3.30 a.m. I had been dead for eight hours. Immediately I jumped up. And everything that had happened to me from the beginning of being in the pure blackness all the way to the Lord letting me know I died, it, became, it began to come back to me. I was seeing it. It was coming back to me. It was going in me. It was coming in my head. It was in my head. And as I'm looking at this, all come back to me, every piece of it, every bit of it. I began to praise the Lord at 3.30 in the morning. It's pitch black outside. It's still dark. I looked through my ceiling with my spiritual eye and looked up into the heavens and I began to say, thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. What just happened to me? And it's still my testimony today. I can still remember it. Although I wrote about it, I don't need that book. I don't need to read anything. I can remember all my testimonies. They're alive, that's why. I didn't have a rapture dream. I didn't have a vision. This was real. I died for eight hours. I know. And if you want to know how I know, it's because I was there. God bless you.